How was your trip to Phoenix? It was pretty good except for the fact that I got cactus needles stuck in my butt. How did that happen? I backed into a cactus. Luckily for me Fast Eddie was there and he was very keen to pull the needles out. I'm not surprised. He has always enjoyed looking at your butt. Yes I know. A few days later he was creeping around behind me to have another little peek at my butt. So I had to hit him on the head with the flag stick. Was the weather nice and hot? Yes, except for two days. We sat around the pool after golf and drank beer and made fun of one another. Handsome Bob went in the hot tub with his fancy watch on. And his smoke's in his pocket. That's an elderly move. I agree. The crazy old fuck tried to dry his smokes out in the microwave. Did it work? Of course not. They just exploded. He had to dry them in the sun. You just cannot make this shit up. Did you get to watch the hockey games? Yes. We were all lined up like a bunch of drooling idiots at a table in a bar called the Tilted Kilt. They had horrible pub food and waitresses with large breasts and skanky tattoos. It was perfect. After the game Lips and Danny went on a mystery tour. I don't want to hear about it. Who won the golf tournament? I did by one shot. I sank a 20-foot putt on the last hole to beat Skippy who folded like a cheap tent. All the guys wanted to know how a one-armed drunkard could possibly beat Mr. Fitness. It was like a fucking miracle. I suppose Kirk Barber was last again. Of course. Some days it's like the little ball of hate doesn't know whether he is upstairs or downstairs. I don't think he will be allowed to make the travel arrangements in the future. At least you saved ten dollars. How is the food? Some bad. Some good. One night Lips and Opie made pasta for all of the boys. They were in the kitchen speaking in their secret language for about two hours. Then they served some penny pasta with red sauce out of a jar. There was no parmesan cheese. Two hours is a long time to make that dinner. I know. Sometimes they just want to be alone for a while. They like to giggle and talk about the past and do little girl things together. I forgot they made a salad as well. I guess that took some extra time. How did Danny like the food? He doesn't give a shit about the taste as long as he gets his two servings. Ever since he became captain he has had an annoying sense of entitlement. Sounds like it was the typical comedy of error starring the usual cast of pitiful old men. Like I said before. You just cannot make this shit up.